Hey guys, Waffles of 37 here, and I guess I bet you weren't expecting this. That's right, we're doing Hexed again. And that armadillo is going to annoy me. Okay, my difficulty is on easy. Wow, armadillos are just really loud and obnoxious, and I don't like it. Oh, that's a sandworm. I you know I completely forgot those existed. Completely forgot about them. Mining things, yay. Also, yeah, the reason for the long hiatus is actually schoolwork. So I decided it was going to be like, we're gonna give you like five million things to do, and you're not even gonna have more than like a week to do with them, and then, and then, and then, and then. That's a pretty good explanation, actually. Not even being sarcastic, that's probably one of the best explanations I can give. Anyway. I guess I could use these for something, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I guess I could start getting into ta Tinker's Construct stuff. Just take his clay ball, gravel, and a sand. I have sand. I have some gravel. I could admittedly use some more, but I have some gravel. So now all I need is clay. And. There should be some right here. Well, there's some squid. Does that count? Anyway, there we go. There's clay. Squid, can you stop wigging out, please? And, or just die, for that matter. Boink, boink, you're dead. one of those things, really? Well, where'd the gravel be? Is my question. Down here? No, I know where this might be some gravel. Let me get the rest of this clay. There we go. Come on, let me eat this apple. There we go. Okay. And I really should have a shovel. Or torches, for that matter. Torches would be rather helpful, indeed. Make like eight quick lay, and just be like, a derp -do. Okay. Anyway, here's gravel. That was extremely fast. Why am I reaching that far up, though? I don't need to. Also, this is since I need gravel and not flint, I can just do this. Th 
redstone. Okay, didn't know you could find that at the site. I mean, I know I normally couldn't, but I know there's a mod that changes the ore generation in this pack. Be COFH core. Oh, hey, copper. Why does every somewhat tech-oriented mod and its mother have to add coal, copper, ore? It's times like this where an item lets you convert one ore dictionary entry to another are really helpful. Okay, don't look at him and he won't bother me. That's a zombie. Potato. That's good. That's relatively uncommon. I hear a skeleton. I'm being shot by an skeleton. And now there are mobs in this little hole here. Hello. Goodbye. I would not like your existence to continue. So please. Wow. That that. I don't even have looting on this, and I got potato and an iron ingot to two consecutive zombies. Now I show you an apple. I'd rather have a bone than a heart, personally. Oh right, melon. Well, look whose melon grew. That could be misinterpreted. Yeah, she even get acquire hardware. Can I use this for? Um. How do I, how do I make tanned leather? Uh, two leather, seven strings, smelt it. Okay. Oh, and then this, too. Uh, graveyard soil. Recharging a zombie scepter, especially with a buttered harsh... A buttered potion or harsh potion, or a potion of strength. Yes! And of course you can smell. All right, I'm kind of doing something. Okay, enough of that. I'm just gonna smell eight round flesh and uh, eight leather because that is a thing you can do. Yeah, I want to get into smeltery things. I haven't. Even Because smeltery is awesome. But you need lots of grout to do anything with it. And that's why I need the, the clay. And that's also why I could very much use a shovel right now. Let's make myself a shovel. You know what? Actually, I'll do the cheaper method of making a shuffle, which involves me. Okay, let me rephrase that. It's more expensive up front, but it'll be cheaper later on. Also, I don't need this crafting station anymore. It can be used as fuel. That's helpful, I guess.
this thing. This thing. I guess that's useful. Oh boy, living metal shield. I have no idea why I won't control these recipes because they're interesting to me, that's why. Anyway, enough of that. I'm just going to... I need wood, and I have wood in here, so there you go. Go to grab 56 planks. And what do I do with these? Uh, do I craft them in a... this? to make a stencil table? Yes, I do. Yeah, my bed's still on my ceiling. I forgot about that. What's that tree up there? Why is there an armadillo over there? I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you. That was useful. That was almost a phone call. I said almost because it kind of isn't now. I can do a sandstone. Uh, usual things. All right. If I had an uncrafting table, I could make sand out of it, which would be useful. Yeah, tree up there. What is it? I'll check it out once I have a Tinker's Construct axe, though. Let's see, what's the next thing I need to make? Well, another pattern, obviously. Then what is it? A workbench and a pattern, I believe? Yep, there we go, tool station. This material is a new volume, too. Yep. It's not that helpful. I guess you can do something with it, but... Yeah, there's a lot of tools. Okay, enough of this, I guess. Wait, why do you ever need an iron tool shard? What? Also, you can convert one bone meal into, you can use two bone meal as a replacement for one bone in Tycon for some reason. Or turn one bone meal into a bone tool rod. That would work as well. But the most durable tool type is probably green slime, which you, there's its crafting recipe. Anyway, so how you do Tinker's Construct things is first you make some sticks, then you make another tool pattern. I will, for example, in this, I'll just make a pickaxe head or something like that. I'll make a shovel head pattern, okay. So then you want to put the shovel head pattern in here. Oh, I know. The. 
I need to make a part thing. How do I make those? I know. Yeah, at mod dot tank is construct. Very helpful. Uh, tool forge. No, it's uh part builder. Yeah. A whole log. Oh boy. Okay, so let's go with this bowl, this potato, this iron ingot, and these nine monster cobblestone, and these two sandstone. And I will be right back. Okay, then. If I need logs, then... Well, here's logs. <laughs> Best part is you don't technically need the crafting table for any of this. Anyway, here's a part builder. It's made of jungle wood. So here's what you do. You put in a part, and then you put in the material that you want to make that thing out of. So, say I want to make a... Explosion. <laughs> Sound. Okay, no, never mind. Let's see what's a good material I have. Um, um hmm. I'll just use cobblestone for demonstration. So you take a shovel head and you put in a piece of cobblestone and you get stone shovel head. And then you can go into your tool station, take the well, first I have to make a stick. You put the shovel head in, and you put in a stick. And you get a shovel. And there you go. Now you have a stone shovel at a slightly cheaper cost than a normal stone shovel, as a, that is one piece of, that is one stick instead of two. So, not that much cheaper, but still helpful. Also, stone-bound things, as they wear out, they start to mine faster, and they do less damage while attacking. Jagged things are the exact opposite. They wear out. They, while well, they wear out, they do more damage, but then they break things slower. I'm gonna find more clay. Here we go. Okay. Yep, here's clay. I probably don't need quite this much, but. It's good to have. Clay is never really not useful in Tinker's Construct because you need a lot of ground to make a smelter. Right? Here we go. The sun's setting again. Oh wow, I've been recording for almost 20 minutes now. Eh, I guess I'll keep going, because I haven't done this series or really anything in quite a while. I'll look for more grapple. What's down here? So that's like 5,000 metric tons of death. Uh, why do I hear a skeleton? Yay, cave noise. And also, yay, level 15. I 
think 12 torches should be enough for now. Where are these skeleton horses coming from? Uh, well, they're barely over there. Let me at least attempt to... Oh, right, now I know I had that crafting station with me. Anyway, to save myself some inventory space, I'm going to... do this. There we go, and I have 33 blocks of clay. Which means I need a bit more sand and quite a bit more gravel. Is there gravel down there? I don't think so. But there is gravel right here. So yeah, I'm gonna harvest some more gravel. Do, 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 do. That was extremely helpful. So it's faster to harvest the gravel from the top down, isn't it? Yeah, because then you don't have to wait for it to fall to mine again. And of course, pieces of flint aren't really helpful directly. Lapis! Diamond! One of the many places I've died in this world, probably, is like down there. Oh yeah, there's this hole. I think that's mine. <laughs> yes, you can mine lapis or the stone pickaxe. It's true, even in vanilla. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's kind of why would you ever, but you can do it. Oh boy. Things could get very interesting next episode, but I'll end it here, just so the interestingness doesn't overwhelm you.